I wanted to do another video. I wanted to do another video. I really did because I, I, I'm too much. I'm too much excited. I'm too much excited. I, I, I really am. I'm so over the moon on this. It's not funny. I'm so over the moon on this. It's not funny. And it's just, I can't contain myself. I'm literally just, I want to watch it so bad. I, I really do. This is the one thing that I said. The only thing about World's End that's actually going to be worth fucking a shit is seeing the fall of yours truly, MJF. Why? Because the story is so written, so good. The story is so fucking packaged in a nice big bubble that ultimately you couldn't tell me this is going to suck unless it's not what everyone's think it is. And that's where I'm literally thinking, that's the worst fear I have. Where the build was so much greater than the finale. That's the one thing that scares me. That's the one thing that absolutely scares the shit out of me. Where is my fucking drink? Oh, there it is. That's the one thing that scares the shit out of me. Because you have fans like me wanting, pleading, begging Tony Khan to literally have... Adam Cole to be the mastermind, the devil, the guy as world heavyweight champion. You can't go any bigger. You cannot go any bigger. You cannot go any bigger with him. You cannot. His girlfriend spoiled the fucking uh, the whole signs. Her pointing the devil fucking horns. Adam Cole smiling before the lights went off. Um everything and also the whole the man behind the shadows what the devil said to uh yours truly mjf a few weeks back i'm behind your shadow and i'm just gonna say this who's the one behind mjf's shadow who's the one that's the mastermind the one behind the shadows on mjf right now it's Adam Cole. Everything is pointing towards him. Everything is pointing towards him. And I'm just like, I couldn't get more excited. I could not get more excited. Because the last time, the first, I'll say this. I'll, I'll say this right now. I'll say this right now. I cannot get any more excited. I've been a big fan of uh, Adam Cole since uh, he came into AEW. Hell, I was even a fan of him when he was in WWE. I liked him, but I just never really thought he fit into WWE. He just he just never really fit into that mold. He he worked, but he just never really was believable. Like, yeah, I could see that guy as a WWE star. No way. I, I, I see him as a indie guy. No way in hell I see that guy holding... A WWE Championship. And I mean a WWE Championship. I'm talking about the Raw or the SmackDown titles. I'm not talking about that fucking cheap ass cardboard cutout fucking NXT garbage. Um, but you know, besides all that stuff, I, I truly, truly feel that no matter what anyone else says, I really, 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 really want this to be true. I really do. Because, you know, for me... I couldn't be more excited. When they first had their first match together, and their second, I was screaming. Screaming. My mom literally said, shut the fuck up, and all that crap. Because I was screaming at the top of my lungs, literally rooting for my guy. Because I literally stated, I literally stated, it has to be Adam Cole to be the end game of MJF story. There's no one else. There's just no one else. Everything comes into a full circle. Every story, every wrestler comes full circle. Every wrestler finish the story. And MJF's story is going to end at world's end. His world end is going to crash into the screeching halt to a point where the time bomb is going to go off next year. 
January 1st, when Dynamite hits, that's where I personally believe MJF is going to flat out just lose it. I am going to say it. He is going to go back to what he was, but be even bigger as a heel. Imagine yours truly, Adam Cole, as world champion. And the whole backlash, the whole whole audience are like, Oh, no, no way. And then MJF literally looks at the undisputed elite, baby. And it's Adam Cole and the Young Bucks, or... His buddies, whichever. Which, to be fair, I would not be surprised the people that fought MJF this Dynamite was the Young Bucks. But yet again, I wouldn't be surprised. It's yours truly, uh, the, yours truly, I'm trying to think of their names, the the Undisputed guys, those guys. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I really wouldn't. And, you know, it, it, it's so gripping. It's so exciting. And I hope I'm right. I really do. I really do. Because I literally am going to say it. It was me. It was me all along, guys. Don't give Tony Khan the credit. It was me. He read my fucking sheet codes. He took my idea. He's, I swear I believed myself. I will literally say it. I am the one paid the road towards MJF, I literally paved the road towards him. I was the one that literally foretold every match that he fucking had. And I stated every time the end game of MJF is yours truly, Adam Cole, baby. And when it happens, when Bebe becomes more of a bigger push going forward, you could not get me over the moon on this, dude. I'm going to be so excited. You could not believe it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't contain myself. I cannot contain myself. It's eating me so bad. It's eating me because this glimmer of this future of Adam Cole as world champion is so excited I want it so bad I want it so bad I want it so bad I really 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 want him because there's nothing that could change my mind on this there's just there's too many signs there are just too many signs it's literally like for example I'm gonna just say this for example there were too many signs on a villain on Dragon Ball that I'm like it has to be him it has to be him. It has to be him. There's just too many signs. There's just too many. It literally spoiled it. And they still revealed it. And it was exactly what it was. You want to know what it was? You want to know what, that whole saga? The Goku Black saga. When Goku Black was revealed to be the next villain in Dragon Ball Super, I literally was on a mission to where it can't be this guy it can't be that guy it can't be this and there was this one character this one little character named zamasu and he was the only guy he had the aura he had the motivation he had everything in the sun and all signs were pointing towards him there was even a promotional commercial by dragon ball heroes and it was before they even revealed he was the actual true identity of Goku Black. And when they revealed it, it was like, holy fuck. It was everything that it was, and then some. Some were disappointed, but others like me were, yeah, no it all along, no it all along, guys, no it all along. I mean, can't go any bigger than this. Cannot go any bigger than this. Has to be it. Adam Cole, as your champion, bang bang, needs to go. He needs to do this. And if they stretch it into revolution, all the revolution's gonna start. Everybody is going to be over the moon. It has to be him. You can't just have Adam Cole get defeated the third time around. The third time around. No, no more on this shit. 
We need to have a third time of getting this fucking storyline, and he needs to be champion. I swear, I fucking swear, I swear, he needs to be champion. Because if he's not, I'm going to be pissed off at Tony Khan so fucking much. Because this, you, you had people like me. You had people like me literally jumping off the moon on this. You had literally people like me doing theories and theories and theories. And literally convinced that you are literally convincing me at one thing. And you're doing another. And therefore you're going to piss me the fuck off. And I'm going to do a video pretty much practically, practically blow along, and then on top of that stuff, I have my friend literally laugh at me and say, <laughs> literally doing the evil laugh every step of the way, and I literally suffer because of that very reason. Tony Khan needs to make this endgame come true. He needs to make that prophecy come true. He needs to make Adam Cole to be world champion. He needs to be that guy for AEW. There's nothing that could convince me otherwise going forward. Besides X, Y, and Z wrestler that I would dare say, yeah, sure, that would be a great champion. I'd love to see Big Swirl and Switchblade and maybe a few other people. Thumbs up for me, but, you know, ultimately, who's going to be believable as champion? Who's the one that actually people like me really want the most? If I had to pick which one I really want the most, it would be number one. Number one, baby. Adam Cole. Number one. There's no one else getting around it. Number one. I couldn't be over the moon on this. I have never been this excited in a good while. I want this to be true. I'm practically begging Tony Khan. Just please, please, just automatically just do it. Don't piss me off because I swear to God, I swear, if it's everything that I don't want it to be. Oh, oh God, this, this one thing, this one thing. And, and I said, I'm not going to go too much passion, but this is the one thing I'm like, you know, I, I, this is an exception. This is one of those times I literally cut loose for good damn reasons, and I'm never going to stop. I'm going to consistently bitch and moan at them for fucking months later. And I would not be against yours truly, MJF. Because if Tony Khan doesn't pull that trigger, number one, it makes Tony Khan look like a fucking moron. Two, uh, it makes everything of what they did... A complete waste. Complete waste. You couldn't go any further than that. Everybody was literally pointing out. Hell, at one point, CM Punk was at that conversation. He's at fucking sports entertainment realm. I can't go any further than this. It has to be this direction. It can't be any other. It has to be Adam Cole. It has to be. And I really, really want it to be. I rest my case. I hope you guys enjoy the pay-per-view. If I'm right, all I want is acknowledgement. Just, just say it. I acknowledge you, Edgar. You were right this entire time. And I'm going to do that video. I'm going to literally do that video. And you're going to see it. No, baby! Or... God damn it, Tony Khan, you fucking bitch ass Mark. See the one of the titles. We'll see. <laughs>